Oh, team's phone upgrade options. Where do I start? Hiya, Fred. You all right? All right, Jonathan. You all right? Look, I've just had a meeting with someone about upgrading my phones to Microsoft Teams. He's talking about Operator Connect, direct routing. I want a phone upgrade, not a train timetable. Fred, I get this a lot from customers. When I start talking to them about Teams phone options, they think I'm booking them a train to London. Why can't I just plug in a phone and talk to someone? This guy is talking about SBCs, the Teams Admin Center, and trucks. I thought for a minute we were talking about elephants. Fred, your Teams phone system, I assure you, has nothing to do with elephants or zoos. You've just got two options to choose from, and today, I'm going to walk you through both of them. Great. I look forward to hearing all about it. Zero faff. No talking about zoos. Okay, Fred. Let's break down direct routing versus operator connect. And by the end of this video, you're going to know which option is right for your business. So here's the thing. On the surface, moving your business phones into Microsoft Teams sounds pretty simple, right? You've got one platform, you've got one application. You can answer your calls and do your meetings in one place. Job done, or is it? But then reality kicks in. You start looking into it and you're faced with all these choices. You've got direct routing, operator connect, calling plans, session border controllers, certified carriers. What about number porting? It's like stepping into a maze with Microsoft logos at every turn. The problem is, there's no one size fits all. The best option for your business depends on your current setup, your current phone provider, how much control over your telephone system you actually want, and who is managing your IT. And if you're an MSP, you're probably having this conversation with your customers quite a lot. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the two main choices for your team's telephony. They are direct routing or operator connect. I'm also going to help you figure out which one actually fits your situation. We're going to look at the pros, the cons, and maybe some real life examples. Now, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which path makes sense for your business or at least you'll be able to explain it to the Fred inside of your business. First up, it's Operator Connect. Now, Operator Connect is a really easy setup. Microsoft lets you choose a certified telecoms provider from within the Teams Admin Center, and then all the setup is handled on your behalf. All you do is just pick the provider inside the Teams Admin Center, assign phone numbers to users, and you're pretty much up and running. Let's say you're a small financial services company based in, I don't know, Bristol. You're already deep into Microsoft 365 and you don't have any internal IT. Operator Connect lets you choose a telecoms company like BT or Gamma. You can assign numbers and basically you'll be live within hours. Now, Operator Connect is also a really great fit for MSPs who are supporting clients who don't need complex call flows or hardware integrations. But all that said, of course, Operator Connect has its limitations. You're basically tied to what the provider offers. So if you want some very specific call routing or integrations with legacy systems, Operator Connect might fall short. Now, before I move on to start talking about direct routing, I just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, who is Tango Extend. Now, Tango Extend is the natural addition to Operator Connect or direct routing because it acts as a universal endpoint. Tango Extend seamlessly extends you can see where they get the name from, can't you? Microsoft Teams phone to mobile devices using the native dialer on the mobile device. No extra apps are required. It means that every mobile call, whether it's incoming, outgoing, or even missed, stays fully visible and manageable in the Teams admin center. 
just like any desk phone or any other SIP device. So if your business is serious about Teams phone and you want your mobile users to be part of the same calling strategy without needing to retrain them or rely on third-party apps, then Tango Extend is definitely worth a look. Check out the link in the description. Okay, now let's move on to talk about direct routing, the more customizable option for those who like to tinker under the hood. So direct routing is more flexible. It's much more customizable. And it's the option that often makes IT people feel like they're in control. But with that control, obviously comes complexity. At its core, direct routing means connecting your existing phone service, like SIP trunks or maybe traditional PBX, into Microsoft Teams using something called a session border controller. But it's much easier to just say SBC. Now, the SBC acts as a kind of bridge between your phone lines and Microsoft Teams. Now, you can host this yourself, but most people use cloud providers who manages it for you. Now, let's say you're a law firm and you've got offices in three different countries. Now, you might have existing contracts with telecoms providers, maybe a few analog fax lines, and you need some very specific call routing. Now, direct routing will give you the control to make all of that work seamlessly. But, and there's always a but, it takes more work to get it set up. Someone's got to configure the SBC, manage the certificates, handle security, maintain it over time. It's not quite plug and play, even if you do use a cloud provider. Now, you might be thinking, well, we're not an enterprise. We don't have on-premise servers and we don't have a team of IT engineers. So quite frankly, direct routing, well, it sounds like a nightmare. But here's the thing. You don't have to manage the SBC yourself. There are plenty of UK-based providers that offer hosted direct routing. So they host the infrastructure in their cloud and they manage the connection into Microsoft Teams for you. But again, the setup isn't as easy as Operator Connect. Let's look at another example. You've got a marketing firm based in Manchester. They've got 60 users and they already use Microsoft 365. Now, they don't really want to manage phone systems, but they also don't want to be locked into Microsoft calling plans. They go with a hosted direct routing provider who ports their numbers and sets up all of the call flows. This marketing agency never have to touch an SBC or a server. So there you have direct routing versus operator connect. If you want full control, advanced setup, or you need to work around legacy systems, go for direct routing. But if you want quick setup, simple management, and few moving parts, go for operator connect. As I said at the start of this video, there's no right or wrong solution. It all depends on what fits your business the best. Now, before I leave you today, I want to ask you a question. Are your staff regularly working remotely in the field or across multiple sites? If so, Tango Extend can help. A free 30-day trial takes only a few minutes to set up if you're using Microsoft Teams already. And the Tango Extend team is ready to help or answer any questions that you may have. All you have to do is click on the link below to get started. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.